Good morning, lovely souls. Tim Wilde, happy Friday. Friday Ascension update. I've got something a little bit different that I'd like to talk about this morning. And uh, many of us are now kind of feeling and sensing and celebrating the lion's gate as it comes to a close, as it comes to a conclusion. And today is Friday the 13th and there's an incredible amount of goddess energy coming in to the planet as well. Now, whereas I'm usually very tuned into what is going on on a planetary level, my process has been much more internal this week, as um, some of you might have picked up on Monday when I recorded my Monday video. My body was beginning a an upgrade process or an integration process. Now, what I want to look at this morning is how we view these processes and how they actually occur because I've had a very <laughs> I've had an interesting week now when the body the physical the mental the emotional and the spiritual body goes into a state of upgrade we usually perceive it as a physical illness meaning that the like the physicality that we are normally used to ceases to function Okay, we might get a raised temperature, might get flared up sinuses, throat, chest, all of the other things that would normally be completely, we, we just take for granted, we just normally carry on. And then all of a sudden, our attention is brought to that particular part of the body, and sometimes quite intensely, so that we can no longer do what we would normally do, and that we're forced to step back, completely rest, recuperate, change whatever it is that within the body that needs to be changed, give the body whatever it is being called for or whatever it is calling for and take the time out to integrate. Now it was it was very odd that I was speaking about this and picking up on it as a as a, almost like a field operation at the beginning at the end of last week just before it actually began to occur with me. Now on a soul level, for me personally, and for also many of you out there, we have signed some quite intensive contracts or soul contracts recently to step into the next phase, to be able to hold and integrate a much higher format of light within our blueprints than we were previously. So we've had to make room for that. Now, on a surface level, these physical changes within us, these these um, integrations, they get given a name. They get given, you know, like the, the the most common one at the moment begins with C and it ends with D. Okay, I'm not as as I'm not as I usually do. I won't use the trigger words during my video because immediately it tr attracts a certain algorithm. Or for the sake of example, we can use the words flu or a cold or any of, the, uh, any of the other integrations that occur within our bodies. And I've had a very good, a, a very strong blueprint occurring with one of these within my body for the last five days. So I've had to stop what I'm doing. I've had to rest. I've had to stop answering emails and messages and actually completely go within call for healing whenever it is when whenever it has been necessary and make the steps and the adjustments and the integrations within my own physical body in order to make room and absorb and integrate this much higher version of myself that I've agreed to live by. So on what I want to talk about is our perceptions of, say, for example, what a virus is. OK, at the moment, the media is saturated and has been saturated for the last 18 months of how terrible a virus is, how it's stopping lives, how it has the potential to threaten and endanger our current physical existence. And so <laughs> a little bit later on, I think it was a couple of days ago when I was, I was kind of coming out the other side of this very slightly, not, not fully, I spoke to the 
<coughs> the blueprint that was within my body that was creating the changes. And initially, through my own perceptions, you know, I've, I've had all of the physical symptoms that, that, that everybody else is reporting. Through my own personal perceptions, I presumed I was going to be faced with, you know, what looked to be like a dark cloud or an entity energy, something that had come within my body that my body was having to fight and resist and, and, and to get over. All of these things are kind of pre-concepts and programs that we've been, you know, strongly saturated with. And instead, I was presented with the most beautiful angel. And she said, yes, I am, I am the angel of this particular program. And I was astonished at the time because I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting because of the way that I felt and the things that have been going on all around us, despite my perceptions of, of what is actually occurring within us, I thought that I was having to actually fight something. And I, I was showing something completely different. And she explained to me how, let's say particularly like, you know, for the sake of this particular program, a virus is transmitted from person to person. Now, I've said this in several of my early videos last year, that I don't see a virus as something that you can catch. OK, so say for the sake of example, you go into a supermarket and there's 20 or 30 people in there that might be running this particular program, whether they're showing physical symptoms of illness or not. I don't believe that you can go and physically catch this from somebody. I don't believe that if I touch something and then put my, <laughs> put my fingers in my mouth like a five-year-old, that I would then take that into my system. I've always seen this as something which activates within the body. And this is what she showed me. She showed me that whatever programs are running at the moment, particularly the one that is, begins with C, these are activated upon light body agreements from person to person. OK, so it doesn't matter how far you've distanced yourself from somebody. It doesn't matter if you've covered your face or if you've taken a particular medical precaution to prevent it from occurring. That will make absolutely no difference whatsoever if your light body has agreed or your soul has agreed to experience this upgrade. So it's almost like what she showed me was it flashes from light body to light body if you are in that particular moment or you've agreed to step into a higher frequency put yourself through an upgrade in any way shape or form and a virus or or this particular program activates within the light body as an opportunity for us to step into a higher frequency. So what it's shown me is all of the things within me that need clearing, and it's happened within a very short space of time. So the joyful things such as karmic knots, shadow, personality shadows, aspects of me that had not come to the surface that, have, that needed to be healed. All of the things within my physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual body that were not resonating with the blueprint or the gold print that I've agreed to step into immediately came to the surface to be healed. So when we get physically unwell, when we become poorly, when we become stressed, when we've taken toxins into our physical bodies that need expelling, then this program activates. It's very, very clever. It's also, if you look at it from that point of view, it's also common sense because we've been looking at it as if it's the enemy. Now, I know a lot of you will already get this. A lot of you will have already been aware of how this works. Some of you might even be working with the program, but for, for a lot of people out there, in fact, millions and millions of people, this is still a very alien concept. This is what we're being constantly programmed by the mainstream media and by the people around us is that we have to protect ourselves from this, from this, these deadly intrusions. And in actual fact, this deadly intrusion or whatever, <laughs> or whatever it is, is an angelic, it's, it's a program from a higher frequency. And this program from a higher frequency is there to activate within us, put, our, put us on our backsides for however long we need to, if we need to do that, 
in order for us to then step through a higher gateway into a much into a much brighter version of ourselves all cleaned all clear all remapped reprogrammed and then we start again at this higher level it's a little bit like the analogy that i've used before about the 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 concept of going dark okay now you for those of you that have heard me say that before like when some of you might have been very psychic since the beginning of your since the beginning of your awakening you've always received very very concise information very always very accurate and you've always had it easy to read it's always been there at your fingertips and all of a sudden when you've reached a certain level of awakening or your vibration goes up to a certain point that stops and all of a sudden you go that you it's almost like you get put into a dark room you're not receiving anything your guides aren't talking to you your angels aren't talking to you nobody's giving you any information you just have to sit with that and while you're sitting in that dark space in that in that period of going dark everything within your third eye within your psychic realities the way you perceive and receive information are all being remapped so when the electricity gets turned on again when the flow or the current gets turned back on again all of a sudden you've got a much more a, a, a much better built fuse board and circuitry and the electricity and the, co the common sense and the knowledge and the intuition and everything is flowing at a much higher level. So this is what I've been shown very clearly is going on with our physical bodies at the moment. For those of you out there that are listening to this that have been hit recently by this whatever whatever's going whatever's going round it's because we are stepping into this much higher version of ourselves. It's going to happen. Um, with the quantity of light that has been coming in since, particularly since the 27th of July, it's almost unheard of that we will have got through any, any aspect of this without some kind of groans or protests from our physical bodies. Some of them have been very intense. Some of them have been kind of, well, you might have needed to sleep a little bit more, take a little bit of extra time for yourself, drink a little bit of extra water, Epsom baths, Epsom salt baths, anything that you can do to ground, to heal, to reconnect yourself and to continue functioning at the level that you need to. But in some circumstances, you just have to stop. You just have to stop. You have to integrate. You have to reach out and go for the healing methods and the people and there are many many people that are so good at identifying what's going on at the moment and healing and balancing it and um so yeah i met the most beautiful angel a, a couple of days ago who wanted me to present this information in the way that i'm doing it about you know just literally cut to the chase and talk about physical illness particularly about you know about the one that's the one that's causing all the controversy on the planet the one that begins with c simply because it is not the program that we are being led to believe it is this higher frequency version of ourselves that's been kind of installed and downloaded and activated at the feet when we're going through it it feels jolly unpleasant you know, like kicking all of this lower frequency stuff out of our bodies and fields. And let's let's be honest about this as well, okay? It doesn't matter how much work you've done on yourself. It doesn't matter how integrated or how healed you, you believe you are. There's always more that will come up if you put enough light in your system. And we're not even having to deliberately call that light in anymore. It's just happened. We've agreed to step into this higher reality. The high reality that we're moving into is formed from a much higher quite much higher quality of light the matrix is higher it's finer the way that we integrate with it has had to be completely readjusted and retuned within our physical bodies our mental emotional and our spiritual fields so that we can move into it and actually bond and integrate with it without having any kind of structural or almost like integrity problems within the 
within the field. So this is a light body upgrade. Everything that we've been going through at the moment, all of these physical, the physicalities that you are experiencing at the moment, so many people are having it. What was it? I was thinking I was reading a couple of days ago in the, in the kind of the various feeds on social media is like the intensive headaches, the kind of the particularly within the third eye, all of this clearance within the sinuses, within the ears, within the throats, within the higher heart, chest, all of that. It's all clearing out. It's all making room for this higher program. But if we're looking at it from the old from the old third dimensional perspective, we would be led to believe that this is something that is intruding within our bodies and fields that we have to fight, that we have to protect ourselves from. When in actual fact, all we need to be doing is using our common sense and really taking all of the steps that we need to do to look after ourselves, to take responsibility for ourselves, to act in a sovereign manner and make these decisions for our bodies out of our own heart-centered integrity, not what somebody is telling us to do with our bodies. So that's quite an, that was very much, that's very much where we are at the moment. This Lionsgate has been absolutely incredible. I've, no, I've, I've experienced some powerful Lionsgates over the years. If um, those of you that tuned into Mir and I's event on the 27th, I kind of named what had happened during the previous Lionsgate. Every single one that's occurred, there has been a significant upgrade. Well, this has been the biggest one. The Hammer of Light came down on the 27th via Archangel Gabriel. And boy, did it. From that point onwards, I can quite honestly say that everything that I've been doing has been to cope with the levels of integration that are coming in. And this, this is something that I've been preparing for. This is something that I work with on a daily basis. So if you put it into context of how this must be affecting people that have no prior knowledge of it, they've no real idea of what's going on, they're just experiencing and, and kind of trying to move through it. <clears throat> I think quite over the next few years or so, we are going to see an incredible awakening of self-knowledge. This is what this period of time is currently showing people, is knowledge of self, okay? You're not going to get that knowledge of self given to you by, say, a pharmaceutical industry with a vested interest in a product. You're going to get that knowledge of self from you learning about what your body needs, what your body requires of you to integrate the next phase, to become this better brighter, shinier, more comprehensively active human soul existing in this incredibly high frequency matrix that we're now operating in. The old one is very much disintegrating as it, as it continues to kind of throw up its laws or its party, it's, you know, I've said it for the party invitations, come back to our party we're so sorry to see you go kind of thing, like, please come back. You know, what, whatever we can do to kind of like lure you, what can we do to lure you back into that field of fear? Um, that fear of, the, the, the fear of survival, the, the fear of one's own safety. And the next year, the next two years or so, is just going to be an ex a, a continuing snowball or almost like a fireball of wave consciousness that goes around this planet as people wake up to how their bodies actually work, how they integrate energy, how we actually respond to our environmental triggers around us, what we put in as within, so without, as above, so below. And it's so simple and so concise when you're seeing it from the point of view that we are these incredible, our body is utterly, completely sacred. You know, we are, we are gifted this upon our arrival on this planet as a learning vessel, the vessel with which we integrate with this incredibly beautiful reality around us. And of course, we're, cho we're choosing now to take that physical body out of what it was previously programmed to be integrated in 
and expect it to operate at a higher frequency. And of course there will be adjustments. Okay, of course the physical body will need to adapt, to evolve and to actually go into healing crisis as if it needs to in order to step up and move into the next one. So this is where I am at the moment with this, with this particularly intensive lion's gate, which is all for the want of the, it's, we had the 8th of the 8th, the incredible, the incredible peak of the actual lion's gate energies coming in. And then it just kind of gradually, gently begins to close down afterwards. So that's where we are now. We're at the other end of it. So <clears throat> I hope you've all had a most wonderful week whether it's been recovering whether it's been integrating whether it's been proactive and that you all have a beautiful weekend and um, I'll be back on Monday morning with a walking meditation and then on the 18th David Estery and I are going to be working on a I think a very well needed healing workshop which will be focused on working with the three new chakras that have kind of become present and very much kind of part of our system and also just to it'll be an hour of taking time of just working with ourselves giving ourselves what we need so if you're joining us i look forward to seeing you there lots of love and i'll talk to you all soon bye for now